Welcome back to the broadcast. Okay, if you have any questions about how to properly grill a steak, I have the experts right here for you. This is Brett, Dustin, and Joe. Dustin and Joe are the 2014 winners of this steak cook-off contest. And Brett, you actually started this whole contest. Well, I started the Steak Cook-Off Association, yeah. Okay, and and did you were you a winner in 2011? Yeah, we won the world championship in 2011. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm I'm actually I'm a little intimidated because I don't really have that great of grilling skills. You will after this. Okay, okay. So so give us the give us the basics on what we want to start with. Now, is this grill ideal? Because Joe seems like a little he 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 really wants one with a different temperature zone. Well, this is my grill, so I'm used to it. He's just not used to cooking <laughs> on this grill. But no, this is a great grill that circulates the heat. It gets it up to about seven, eight hundred degrees. We use our technology that makes sure the surface temperature is right. It's a great grill. Okay, so and, and anybody can buy a grill like this. So you want to get it heated up though? Yeah, we okay. cook our steaks hot and fast. Okay, Dustin, tell me how to prepare, properly prepare a steak to get the best flavor out of it. It's real simple. Uh, ribeye's got a lot of natural flavor to it anyway, so we look for a perfect Is that your marbling. favorite? Your ribeye is your favorite? Ribeye is my favorite. Uh, the, it's got perfect marbling in it. That's what we look for, a good fat in the middle. But it's all about simple ingredients. We use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So, you know, it's uh, it ain't right if you don't do it by hand. So <laughs> we're going to just sprinkle just a little bit of garlic powder all over this thing. So it's kind of like a dry rub. This is, is what you uh, what you prefer other than, like, say, a marinade or something like that. Right. Uh, you know, Texas is all about dry rubs. So, I mean, we just stick with our tradition there. But, uh, you know. The tradition we, won you the title. Tradition this year's won title. us the title. That's <laughs> right. That's right. We All we do is complement the flavor of the ribeye naturally. And uh, we like to let the ribeye sit out to get to about room temperature before we ever cook it. Uh, why, why is that? Well, when it's cold, you know, everything's compressed. As uh, when, you, when you season it, when it comes out of the fridge, you want, uh, you just want everything to expand, kind of suck all that seasoning in and stuff. So that's, that's what we want. We want all that seasoning to be sucked into that meat as it warms up. So we season both sides of it here. What about the sides of it? We don't care so much about the sides. The sides right? You know, uh, if it's a thicker cut, we would season the sides of it. But uh, this is a little thinner cut here, so I mean, it, it's going to get enough seasoning just off of, uh, just off, you know, what we put on top here. Okay. And uh, what we got here, like I said, it's just a simple garlic powder, salt, and pepper. We like to use a uh, kosher, uh, coarse sea salt, and a uh, uh, coarse ground pepper too. Okay. Now you and Joe worked as a team, right, to win the title for 2014. So Joe, are, are you? So so Dustin, do you um, do you choose the steak and and season it, and then Joe puts it on the grill, or how do you guys split split up the duties? Well, we kind of we kind of mix and match. Who does that a lot? Uh, you know, sometimes I cook, sometimes Joe cooks. We we both enjoy it so much that uh, you know that that that's what we that's what you know our, our both our passions are. And uh, you know, we got we got great products like the grill grates here. I mean, that you can't go wrong with a grill grate. It makes beautiful sears on a steak. It really makes a great presentation. And now why why do you need the grill grate on top of the grill? What what is that for? That actually increases temperature probably about almost 200 degrees, and uh, it just makes beautiful marks on the steak. And you want to lock in that flavor, so that's why we sear it. Sear it hot, sear it fast. We cook it for a few minutes on each side, and at, when you get done. I mean, we like medium rare steaks. So me too. That's mine, medium rare. All right, Joe. I noticed before in the break you were you were testing the temperature of the steak. So you're not one to like throw the steak on the grill and walk away. So that's like a big faux pas that I do, right? That's right. No, you don't want to just walk away from it because, like I say, if your temperature's not right, you can undercook it, overcook it. You know, you got to stay on top of it. Tell us what, what we're looking for for like a medium rare steak because I saw you poking at it. You had your, your gloves on, well, you were poking at it. I feel, uh, you know, the softer it is, the rarer it is. Okay. You know, the harder your steak feels, the more done it is. So, you know, you want that somewhere in between, you know, not too hard but not too soft and take it off then and let it finish resting. A lot of people make the mistake of just taking it off and cutting into it. Right. You don't do that. You need to let it rest. Let all them juices soak back in it. Let it finish cooking because it's going to rise another, what, seven, eight degrees yes. right. and come up to temp, and then you're good to go. So, Brett, what were you looking for when, when you named these guys the champions? Well, they cook a great steak. In this contest, it's all about the meat, and these guys respect the meat, and the meat's the star of the deal. So, you know, we're, we actually have one coming up in North Texas here, the North Texas Steak Cook-Off on June 28th. 
and be in downtown Carrollton. And any, if you got a grill, you can come enter try to beat these guys. All right. They'll and, be there. And y'all gave him some great tips, too. You didn't give away yes. any trade secrets, did you, Dustin? No. No. Okay. No. Can, <laughs> as we go to break, can I please taste this? Because my mouth is literally yes. watering. Here you, there you All go. Right. That's a perfect medium rare right Oh, there. thank you so much. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> can someone bring me a glass of red wine? <laughs> so good. We're back with more broadcast right after this. Fantastic.